Speaker, currently the tax-free amount on subsistence allowance paid to employees in the private sector for a period spent outside the usual place of work while on official duties is capped at Kenya shillings 2,000 per day. This is quite low considering the inflation that has occurred over the years. To cushion employees in the private sector from high cost of living, I propose to review the threshold to an amount not exceeding 5% of the employee's monthly gross earnings. Second, Mr. Speaker, the affordable housing levy and PSU earn are calculated from the same base, leading to double taxation. To address this, I propose to make the housing levy deductible expense. This means that there is a tax savings for Kenyans and therefore affording Kenyans more money in the pocket. Mr. Speaker, in order to encourage Kenyans to continue constructing their own houses, I propose to increase the remit of interest payments that qualify for mortgage relief from Kenya shillings 300,000 to Kenya shillings 360,000 per annum. Let me turn now, Mr. Speaker, to amendments to the value added tax. Mr. Speaker, I will now highlight